Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, so today I thought I would show you some old school indicators. These are all available in Thinkorswim. They are actually available in a few other platforms as well. One of them is the dollar sign SPXA200R. And this is going to be the percentage of S&P 500 companies trading above their 200 day moving average. So right now we have roughly 69% of the S&P 500 is trading above the 200 period simple moving average on a roughly a one year daily chart. This indicator also works on the 50 and the 100 period moving average as well. So if I change this to 50, 250, this should work. Yeah, so this is the percentage of the S&P 500 stocks trading above their 50 day simple moving average. And right now we only have roughly 38% are trading above that. Um, we can see that our low last year was roughly at 7%. So we have a, a ways to go down here uh, before we may find a low there. Some other indicators or what are really considered old school indicators. Uh, Thinkorswim actually has a built-in watch list for all these. But if you go to your watch list and go to public and then go to internals and indicators, you can find them all. And once you're in here, you know, you have the NYSE, um, the advanced decline line basically is what I like to call it. And this takes the number of advancing stocks minus the number of declining stocks. So you really only have about 125 stocks here trending up with the advanced minus decline. Uh, if you want to look at just the advancing stocks, this tells you how many stocks in the New York Stock Exchange are advancing today. And then you can look at how many are declining. But not only do you have the NYSE in here, you have the NASDAQ, you have the Dow Jones, you have the S&P 500. You can also look at the volume here, total volume, um, unchanged. So if you trade the S&P 500 like I do, um, some of these tickers are, are pretty helpful. You have the up volume minus the down volume here. You have the NASDAQ 100. You also have the Russell 200. Uh, yeah, 2000, I'm sorry. So anybody that trades the Russell IWM, um, you know, that's in here too. And it can give you all that stuff. So the Russell, you know, is it? 386. So, you know, you have a lot of stuff in here. Um, one thing that you'll note is to get to this, basically you just type in the dollar sign first and that's how you find these. Uh, you also have the put call ratio, uh, say the S&P 500 here, NASDAQ, you also have the Russell. So anyway, I just thought I would share this information with people that maybe don't know about it, something to look into. Um, so thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.